There is a, an amazing amount of buttonholes that you find on the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. So we're going to just start with the most basic one, but let's talk buttonholes in a decorative sense. Now we know garment-wise we can see buttonholes, but where else can you use buttonholes? So we've been sometimes showing you our Stitching Cosmos online course quilt, and in this one we use buttonholes in a whole new way, and we weave ribbon through them. These buttonholes were actually done with variegated thread, so they have a little spice to go along with those. But I would highly recommend that you sew out all the buttonholes that you have in this machine. When you do pick a buttonhole, so let's go ahead and get over to our stitches. Yes, I went backwards because that's faster to get to stitch number 104. You're going to see that foot F is the foot of choice. So that's the one that's actually in the accessory box where it almost has a place to sit. And it also has, when, it pull, when you pull it out, you're going to notice there's an extra piece. So this piece would be used if you have some dif difficult fabric or that's not feeding well for stitching on buttonhole, you'll actually put it on and the fabric would go between them. So I'm actually going to have you set this aside. It just slides out and off the side. Uh, you'll be using it just like this. Next, take your button because this is going to be what the machine is going to do the stitch length with. Pull down on this part here that opens up that back opening where you're going to slightly get, um, let the button sit back in that opening, okay? And then you're going to attach the foot to the machine. You're going to notice that the button is going to be way out the back side. So that is correct. Now, if it doesn't want to click all the way on, touch that little button on the back that you used to take off the last foot, and that can kind of help grip it into place. So as long as it comes up with the foot, you are set to go. To make a buttonhole work, you must go behind the needle threader to find this lever. This lever actually comes down and sits between these two white pieces of the buttonhole foot. That's the length of the button. So if you had a bigger button, those would be spread out. But this is what tells the machine what when to turn around for that exact length. So I always say do your first couple buttonholes as practice. Make sure you have stabilizer, some interfacing on the back so you have a nice smooth um, place for those feed dogs to grip onto. Now the first time you do a buttonhole, the thread is usually on the top and it is a little hard to get it to go down into and underneath the foot. So for me, I'm going to just hold this thread and after it starts to take a few stitches, I'm going to clip it off. Then once we do our next buttonhole, second one, third one, that thread will be underneath the foot um, and not on top. So when you've pulled this down and you've lowered your foot onto the fabric, if you've done all of that correctly, then this light will be green and be ready to go. So then you can just go ahead, step on your foot control and keep your foot on it until it comes to a complete stop. You're going to notice it's going to do a straight stitch towards you um, on that first little bit. That's that little clip so I don't have to worry about those um, threads at all. And then it's just going to do the whole thing. Straight stitch down, zigzag back over the top of it. Zig straight stitch down, bar tech at the bottom, and then zigzag back. And they'll bar tech at the top. And we'll have our first buttonhole. We'll do some locking stitches. You can use the scissor button when you're done. But just let it finish. So you don't want to like stop ahead of time and look perfect buttonholes uh, from the very first one you do in the same size because it's tracking that button in the back. So if I wanted to, if I've tested it, my button fits, I can go ahead and make more buttonholes. You just need to know where it's going to start. So next time I'm going to put a little dot right here, set my needle over that positioning point, and then it's going to do another one as it started here and stitched towards me and then finished on the way back. So very fun, lots of different styles. Some are keyhole buttonholes, some are buttonholes that are designed to be on knit fabric. There's even a straight stitch buttonhole. You could use it for a bound buttonhole, stitching on leather or suede. So check out, the book actually gives you all the different uh, recommendations of which buttonhole to use on which fabric.